Here we go. We're going through. Now into the studio. Oh, oh. Whoever said life isn't just fun and games obviously hadn't met Ross Schaefer. This Northwest native turned Hollywood host is having a ball hosting TV's Match Game. That's why they know they have come to one provocative show. I think that this is a comedy show disguised as a game show. We, we just come in, we do the show, uh, whatever happens, happens, we just have some laughs and that's our, our whole plan for the show. With Schaefer's sharp wit, there's never a dull moment on the show. But to fully understand the story of this frontrunner, we need to go back a few years to the time when Ross was just a local boy with a dream and an accordion. Unbeknownst to me, my dad bought an accordion and I had accordion lessons all of a sudden. So I had to lug this accordion around uh, and go to my accordion lessons. I had no interest whatsoever in playing the accordion. And finally, at some point, I rebelled and uh, put the accordion away and said I wanted to play guitar. In uh, 1965 and 66, it seemed that every kid on the block had a rock band. And I, I wanted to have a rock band too. And so I had a guitar and three of my friends also had instruments. So we formed this little band in junior high called the Night Riders. And we thought we were, we were pretty good, but we only had two songs. We had Louie Louie and She's a Witch. And then if they got tired of She's a Witch, we'd go back to Louie Louie again. Coincidentally, it was that same song that some years later had quite an impact on Ross's life. It was because of that that uh, I later became so interested in trying to make Louie Louie the state song. We had about 10,000 people show up on the Capitol steps uh, to force the governor out of his office to comment on can we have the song or not. And whereas I intend to get even with Ross Schaefer. Although it didn't become law, I think the people of the state adopted it as the unofficial song. After making quite a name for himself in his four years of hosting Almost Live here in Seattle, Ross headed for Hollywood, eventually getting matched up with The Match Game. The Match Game is a show that requires uh, ultimate ad-libbing. Make my day. Well, it keeps it fresh. That's more <laughs> Because of what I learned in Seattle is the, is the only reason I'm able to, to get the job and do that show. Ross still tours regularly as a stand-up comic, a gig that allows him to occasionally come back and play his old stomping grounds. It would be okay to wear makeup, I think, if you're a guy, if people on television and movies would admit to you they wear it. Clint Eastwood wears a lot of makeup, Charles Bronson, Schwarzenegger all wear makeup. But you don't know that, you don't know. If, if Nicholson would do a CoverGirl commercial, <laughs> it would break it loose for the rest of us. He, he said, when I'm playing the part of a psychopathic killer, <laughs> I want a mascara that won't run. <laughs> when it comes to his career, Ross Schaefer continues to move in only one direction, straight to the stars. And if you don't believe me, just ask the stars. for stars. They're a vanishing breed, a good game show host. It looks so easy to be an MC to a game show. Well, Ross has the quality of keeping us all under control and still enjoying it without sounding like a traffic cop. He's sensational. Ross is absolutely wonderful. Uh, Betty White just said we just finished our third show for today, and Betty White said he is so wonderful. And he is. <laughs> oh, my. And Ross is very special. He is oh, a front runner. Oh, that he is, Charles. That he is. See you on the next match game. <laughs>